Hey y'all, it's DX Stamp and Sharon. Welcome to Mystery Monday. Oh, it's been a while since we've had a Mystery Monday. Um, it is Monday, January the 22nd. I am live at 7 o'clock p.m. Central. If you're watching the replay, welcome. I have a few rules to go over about mystery stamping. Ready? First rule, no stress, okay? Making a card is supposed to be fun. Mystery stamping is just a unique way to make a card, okay? Rule number two, if you have gathered all of the items you need in clue number one, you have all the supplies you need to make a card. If you don't like any of my clues or you get lost or get behind, don't stress. Remember rule number one, just go rogue, okay? We have a fun way of making a card. Mystery stamping is fun. Don't forget that part. I want to say hello to everyone who is joining me live. Um, I'm seeing the, the ticker go, so when everybody's finding me, um, I'm assuming that everyone can hear me because no one has said anything. Um, I see a lot of people are just watching tonight. I saw in the chat that a lot of people um, are cold and rainy. I'm cold and rainy here in Central Texas. So um, I just want to say hello to everyone. Um, let's see. Hi, Brenda Greenleaf from Maine. I bet it's a little chilly up there. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Katie. Hi, Polly Libby. How are you? Hi, Anita from North Carolina. Okay, Rosemary says she can hear me loud and clear. Perfect. Perfect. I know that I am, for one, recovering from the Creative 8 retreat, and I saw a lot of y'all are too. We had that this weekend, and so much fun. We just had so much fun. So if you did not make the retreat, I hope that you will make the next one. I'm going to go ahead and sit down. I want to know, those of you who know Matt, if you want to meet Matt tonight, I want to know. Let me know in the chat if you want to meet Matt tonight. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, no beautiful colored shirt tonight. I, I am cold. I got this new sweater today. It came in the mail and I was like, oh, that just looks so cozy. And I had to put it on. So I'm in white tonight, but I'm warm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just got to do what you got to do. But look, it has these fun sleeves. Look at that. It's classy. It's classy. Oh, y'all want to meet Matt. <clears throat> Meeting Matt sounds interesting. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. All right. I mentioned, I'm not going to forget about Matt. Um, uh-oh, Laura says, I just met a mystery stamper in person today. <gasps> Laura Peterson, you did? How fun is that? Um, thank you, Anita. I love my sweater, too. I got it on Amazon. <laughs> my daughter had it in the cart. She and I share an account. And um, I, uh, I saw it, and I was like, can I get that in the different color? She's like, I don't care. All right. So I mentioned at the beginning that um, you needed to have this the supplies from clue number one. If you're new to my channel, you don't have this um, uh, list. I do invite you, if you're not on my newsletter list, I invite you to sign up and you can do that below the, the video uh, link in the read more section. You can sign up for my newsletter list and get this when we're having mystery stamping. Um, I have it twice a month. I have it typically it's the first and third, first, first and third um, Monday of the month. Uh, the holidays kind of messed us up a bit. So um, I, um, I'm on a different Monday. <laughs> All right. For those of you who wanted to meet Matt, I have to um, um, show you a card I got. 
This is from Grandma Jane. I didn't even look to see if Grandma Jane was on here, um, but she sent me this cute card with a note that she said that she found um, this stamp with the man and his dog, and she thought that this might be our mat. And I just thought it was so stinking cute. So thank you, Grandma Jane, for sending me uh, this card with the sweet message. Um, unfortunately, I don't think that's Matt. But anyway, I wanted to share that with y'all. Grandma Jane is uh, Jane Walker on YouTube. When you guys see her, uh, tell her what a cute card. So, all right. Just had to do a little humor there. Okay. I want you for clue number two, I want you to take your embossing folder and place all of the pieces inside and run it through your die cutting machine. Okay. Um, you have four pieces of cardstock or foil that I want you to put in your embossing folder. Now, before you do that, before you do that, I want to, I want to remind you of something. Um, I did tell you that your card is portrait. What does that mean? Up and down, up and down. Now, <clears throat> hi, Lavina. You just sit back and watch, girlfriend. I know you're tired from that. Um, do I look fuzzy? Am I fuzzy? Uh-oh. Mary Yates is saying I look fuzzy. My face? Or, okay, let me know if anybody else sees that. <laughs> yeah, Renee, I pictured Matt a little younger. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm okay. I'm not fuzzy. I'm not fuzzy. All right, Mary Yates, if I'm fuzzy, um, just go out and come back in. So when before you do your embossing, if you happen to have an embossing folder, that is like this, okay? Like these are the posies. What is this one called? This is the painted posies, all right? So I told you that your card is gonna be portrait. Don't put your pieces in like this if your design goes that way. Does that make sense? We want all the pieces to be in for portrait. I hope I'm making sense. Renee's going to talk to us if I'm not. <laughs> um, Mary says I was fuzzy and then I shaved. <laughs> sort of dim. My light is dim? Hmm, that's interesting. I look pretty good on my end. Um, the vision of my hands is darker than when I was talking at the beginning. Okay. I know that when I put other things, my camera tries to adjust. Um, okay. All right. So <clears throat> I hope that that makes sense. I want your pieces to all go so that when you are putting them on the card, they're going to be um, portrait as far as your pattern goes. If that doesn't make sense, it will when we start putting your card together. How'd I do, Renee? <laughs> Rochelle says, oh, Rochelle, you're still healing from your surgery? Oh, goodness. I'm so sorry. I hope that you're doing better. I thought eye surgery, I thought it healed faster. Okay. Um, just trying to see something. Okay. When you're done with clue number two, type done two. And remember, y'all can go rogue. Let me know when y'all start going rogue because I love it when y'all go rogue. <laughs> okay. Put this up. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just putting my busting folder over here. I have on my swippers or my slippers. My granddaughter said, I got new swippers, Mimi. And I go, oh, girl, I got my swippers on too. I'm cold. <laughs> <clears throat> the, 
The lighting problem is because you're wearing what, which is very bright on camera. So you're saying that my face is what? I have my light is right here. So I have very good lighting up here. Um, I am zoomed in with this camera so that y'all can read. Okay, I think we're good. I think you guys can read. I'm looking at everything on all my other screens. I think we're good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Marsha says doing both cardstock and foil as she can't decide. Hmm. That should be fun, Marsha. Maybe you could mix them. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Clear number three. I want you to adhere the designer series paper. Hold on. Did I not say the designer series paper? Okay. So I didn't put the size. The designer series paper that is four inches. Hold on. four inches by five and a quarter to the colored cardstock base with adhesive. Missed that part. Missed that minor little detail. <clears throat> Usually the clue papers look white and now they look gray. Um, you know what I'm thinking it is? I think it's my new gray table. Becky Horn says, I've already gone rogue, so I'm making a calendar, not the card. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. I'm going to try something. I'm probably going to regret playing with the camera, but I'm going to try to go out a little bit and see if that helps. Does that help us? Nope. Still looks great. Hello, Virginia. <clears throat> She's late. But I'm here from Holden Beach, North Carolina. I don't like being out that far. Hold on. Doo, doo, doo. There we go. Okay. When you're done with clue number three, type done three. Kelly says she thinks I'm fine. I'm going to go with what Kelly says. I like what Kelly says. Thank you, Kelly. She says I'm fine. Floyd Morgan, how are you, my friend? She says she is done with two and three. Rochelle says, after the surgery, there was a water bubble. Yes. Okay. Now that makes sense. Um, the eye drops are helping. Well, Rochelle, I hope you get to feeling better. Um, you can see the next clue. Y'all, don't be peeking. Don't be peeking at the clues. <laughs> okay. I'm going to move all that. Now my clues are backwards. How's that? <laughs> y'all, y'all are stinkers. Okay, fine. <clears throat> Take the embossed pieces and snip one end of each, except for one. Hold on. <clears throat> Take these embossed pieces and snip one end of each to form a banner tail. Just one. So we've got the three quarters inch by three inches. The one half inch by two and three quarters. The three quarters by two and a half. The only one that you're not doing a banner tail is the one that says one inch by four inch. No banner tail. Got it? Nancy? Nancy? Thank you, Nancy Chaney, Charney. She says that everything is fine. Let's see here. What happened? I got an extra piece of paper. Whoops. All right. Any questions on clue number four? When you are done with clue number four, type done four. Um, what's a banner tail? Great question, Sharon. I will show you. <clears throat> 
Okay, let me get my snips. To do a banner tail, go up the middle and then come in from each corner and form a banner like that. Okay, good question. Sally says, I've never done mystery stamping. I have no idea what is going on. Looks like a great time to be had. Sally, millions, you are so correct. It is so much fun to do mystery stamping. I invite you to just watch tonight. And then if you want to come and hang out with us for the next one, I do mystery Monday stamping on the first and third Monday of the month. Um, the best way to get the first clue which is gathering your supplies, okay? We have a list of supplies, and that is clue number one. Those are emailed out the day before Mystery Monday. Um, I invite you to look below the video and find the link that says join my newsletter, and that way you know what day and what clues you need. So just sit back and watch. <clears throat> Jacqueline says it is great fun. I agree. Um, Dara, bring him on. Bring who on? Are we talking about Matt? Oh, I know. Somebody asked me who my VIP uh, guest was. We had to move Mystery VIP Party to next Monday night because we had asked last monday and my mystery guest couldn't get here so we had to change that um oh yes and renee is inviting you to join the facebook group um that is also where the first clue is posted deborah ruiz hi there how are you um she said this is her first time um it's also great i've been able to use lots of scraps that just sit here and collect dust. Yep, we're gonna wipe off that dust and we're gonna use them on our cards. The best thing about mystery stamping, I think, is that I give you guys the clues and you have to be creative with what you have because you're using your supplies. You're not using what I tell you, like you're not using the supplies I use. Your card is gonna look totally different than mine and that's the fun part. That is the fun part. There is no right or wrong way to do mystery stamping. So for anyone who might feel nervous or scared, don't be. Don't be. Oh, gosh. Paula Rice said she had to switch to unembossed pieces because her embossed ones were falling apart. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, maybe a different embossing folder next time. Making this card like that with just unembossed pieces is perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Um, okay. <gasps> Jacqueline Bates said she is done with four and it's her first time doing it live. Yay! I'm so proud of you guys. All right. I think we are ready for the next clue. The folder cut them too deep. You know... Sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens. Clue number five. Add the three banners to the top left of your card front by overlapping them a little bit in any order you prefer. Use liquid glue so they don't pop off. That's what I recommend. Now, when you start doing your banners, you have different lengths, okay? So does it make sense to start with the longer one, the next one, and then shorter? Or do you want to mix it? However you want to do it, it is your card. You're going to be adding these to the top left of your corner. Now, with that said, remember you have a piece of designer series paper. Oh, I can't use the mat card. But remember you have a piece of designer series paper you need to put your banner, this is not going to work. Hold on. Hold on. I will use this. So remember, you have a piece of designer series paper. So one of the banners, and this is way too long. This was just my, my um, prop for you guys. 
You want to start, maybe leave some room and then start overlapping them so that your three banners are right here. Make sense? Well, we don't need that anymore. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's see. Oh, that's so fun. Barb Sherman says, done with four. I have three sets of these because I couldn't decide which color I liked better. You know, it's kind of funny. You start pulling out your supplies. Like I, uh, what was it last month? Renee had me on for the VIP mystery party and she made me do what y'all are doing. Y'all, I am so impressed with you guys because I struggled and you guys you're like, oh, I'm going to use this and this and this and this. Um, and then sometimes like Barb, she's like, well, I don't know which one I'm going to like. So I'm just going to have multiples out. Hi, Deborah Vanderberg. Hoping to see a fabulous card that will inspire me to get back into my craft studio. Girlfriend, I have that card for you tonight, Deborah. And I can send you some in the mail, too, if you want me to. Deborah's on my team, so we need to get her back into the craft room. Um, oh, Rosemary said, I didn't realize that I was hoarding my fall papers. We'll have to make several cards and or start using the scraps. Yep, that's right. Um, Cindy Wagner is saying that I'm the queen of Mystery Monday stamping. We have a lot of fun and surprises along the way. Ring the bell and sign up. Perfect. Thank you. I love that, Cindy. I appreciate that. We do have a lot of fun. You know, it's kind of crazy. We have talked about many, many things on Mystery Monday Stamping because I'm just sitting here waiting for you guys to tell me when you're done with clue number five. I'm starting to see that. Um, Susan Glasgow said, I'm glad you had the prop. I was starting to put them in the other direction. No wonder I usually end up going rogue. <laughs> were, you, were you doing your banner tails um, like this? Upside down? <laughs> I don't know. You know what, y'all? I can see my camera adjusting color-wise. I just saw that. We'll have to work on that technical issue. Um, that's too funny, Susan. <laughs> yes, Rosemary, I laughed and giggled the whole time because I, oh, Renee was, she had me going. She had me going. Okay, I think we are done. Oh, no, horizontal. Okay, well, you know me. Go rogue, Susan. Go rogue. All right, we're going to go on and go to clue number six. All right, adhere the cardstock or foil paper that is one inch by four inches across the DSP layer that's on your card front towards the bottom with liquid glue. Okay, and I'm telling you liquid glue because it's an embossed layer. All right, <gasps> Heidi says I'm actually new to stamping and this is just my second live stamping from Sharon. I like to just sit and watch and get ideas of what to do with all the different materials. It's fun. Heidi, welcome, my friend. I think this is the Heidi that I am thinking of. And Heidi, I'm so proud of you for just watching, learning, and then go doing. And I love that. Hi, Roxanne Mallard. I'm glad you're here. <clears throat> I am um, Malland. Sorry, I said Mallard. Um, it's okay if you're late, you know that. So if you're just now hopping on, I am doing this crazy thing called Mystery Monday Stamping. It is Monday, January the 22nd. I went, I started live at 7 p.m. You can just sit and watch. And then I invite you to go back and watch the replay, stop and start the video and make a card, okay? It's a stinking cute card. Um, at the end, we will solve the mystery and you will see what my card looks like. And then I invite everyone to go over to the Facebook group and um, post their cards so that we can see what your interpretation is. Uh, Joanne Smith is asking, is the one by four also embossed? Yes, it is also embossed. If you want it to be. 
horizontal or vertical? Okay. So we're going to pretend that this is your strip and it's four inches wide. I want it to go across the bottom, towards the bottom of your card, almost like this card right here that I grabbed as a sample. Um, so we're putting it this way. Make sense? Hi, Dee Dee from Mesa, Arizona. I'm so glad you love Mystery Mondays. Heidi, what is the name of the Facebook page? If you start typing in Facebook, TX Stampin' Mystery Monday Stampers, you will find us. Um, I think that um, Renee posted it earlier. We will grab that for you and post it again. Just go to Facebook and start typing Mystery Monday Stampers. You do have to request to join um, because we're trying to keep out the spammers. We tried forever to not make it where we had to uh, request. We just wanted it to be open for everybody. And that got to be too much there. Renee has put the link in for you. Um, of course, Deborah, it is okay to use glitter paper. Always it's okay to use glitter paper. Um, <laughs> Denise said, Smith said that I was a hoot. Thank you. I appreciate that. When you are done with clue number six, type done six. Um, Helen is asking if there should be a gap at the bottom. Yes, I would I would guesstimate about what this card is. This is not my mystery card, just so y'all know, because there's no banners, but it's about like this. You just want it to go across the bottom. Okay, Sarah Kendall says she is done with number six times two. She's making two cards. I read that too quickly, Sarah, and I thought you were making six. <laughs> oh, my goodness, that was funny. Okay, I think we're done with clue number six. Okay, clue number seven. Stamp the greeting on your basic white scrap and cut out using punches, dies, or your paper trimmer. All right? When you're done with clue number seven, type done seven. Robin Miller says too late. The embossing is sideways. That's okay. That's okay. Because it's okay. You'll find out why. It's all fine. Everything's fine. How many grandkids, Deborah Vandenberg? I have 14 grandkids. Grandbaby number 14 arrived on October 30th, and his name is Banks, and he is big. <laughs> we just have big babies with the Armstrong family, and he is big. <laughs> I am seeing so many people saying they are done with seven already. Wow. <clears throat> Cheryl Whitaford said, I really look forward to Mystery Mondays. Lots of laughs. Sharon, your laugh is so contagious. Thank you. You're so welcome. They say it sounds like a tune. Name that tune. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, but we do. We have fun. We learn a lot. Um, Marilyn Bird, I am very blessed with 14 grandkids. I really, truly am. And I love it when I hear the word Mimi, because I know they want their Mimi. <laughs> love my lipstick. What color is it? It is, who is this from? It's called Pink and Proper. And this is... I don't know what brand. L'Oreal? Sensational. I think it's L'Oreal. Here, I'll look this way. It's that kind of tube at the drugstore. <laughs> and there it is. Y'all see how I do my lipstick, right? <laughs> Haven't we done this once before? This is how I put my lipstick on. <laughs> so then it starts to look like that. 
the things you learn about me when we're live. <laughs> I think it is. I think it is um, L'Oreal. Nancy says, I finally remembered what your beautiful laugh reminds me of. What is it, Nancy? Mary says, I have a 14-year-old grandson named Spencer, whose birthday is October 30th. There you go. <gasps> Rhonda Hunter does her lipstick that way, too? I didn't know that. Okay. Let's move on to clue number eight. <laughs> All right. Oh, gosh. Here we go. I can hear the comments now. Create a mat for the greeting layer with punches, dies, or a paper trimmer. Adhere both layers together with adhesive. Remember, create a mat. Just kidding. Whoever doesn't know what a mat is, in this context, please let me know and I will help you. <laughs> Tammy says, I love that you have it in the drawer for screen readiness. Absolutely. And if I don't feel like that color, I have another one. <laughs> I keep them in here because I go live right here. Snow White, when she is singing with the birds, when she first gets to the cottage. <gasps> Nancy, is that what I remind you of, Snow White? Well, I'm dressed like her tonight, that's for sure. Too funny. It's okay to go rogue and make your card landscape. Absolutely, Rochelle. Thanks for telling her that. Your lipstick looks like a boot. <gasps> I did spell Matt wrong, didn't I? My lipstick looks like a boot? Hold on. I got to look now. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it does look like a boot. Let's see. Do it this way. Oh, my goodness. It does look like a shoe. <laughs> does my other one look that way? I'm sure. Oh, the other one is not as bad. Look, it's just very pointed. <laughs> All right, let's move back on. When you're done with clue number eight, type done eight. Let's see, do I have another one? Oh, gosh, I do. That one, that one's a new one. That one doesn't look... That one doesn't look fun any yet. Delina said, I remember how my mom's lipstick tubes look like that. Yeah, see? I think it is, uh, Susan Hammond, I did spell Matt wrong. Does that make y'all sad that I didn't spell it right? Let's see. Create a mat for the greeting layer with punches, dies, or paper trimmer. Adhere the two layers together and let me know when you're done with clue number eight. <gasps> Laura Peterson said my 14th grandchild was born October 18th and his name is Kai. That's awesome. Yeah, Lavina, I think that tube is newer. I think that's a newer tube. Those two are newer tubes. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> what is this one? Oh, oh. <laughs> This is a very old one. Y'all want to see? <laughs> All right. Y'all are done with clue number eight. Stamp them with Maria. That mat should have one T. <clears throat> I think that you should spell mat correctly for most of the time when we have to pay attention to see when mat pops up. Okay, look at that one. <laughs> now, what's going to happen the next time I use this one, it's going to break in the middle. So when I use this one, I will stand over the garbage can. <laughs> I think I need to take a picture of that. That's pretty funny. That's pretty dang funny. <clears throat> My first grandson was born on October 27th, and his name is Briar. Oh, okay. She said that it should be Matt, M-A-T-T-E. Oh, Sharon Smy said throw that one out. <laughs> okay. 
<clears throat> that one looks like a tongue. <laughs> Add the greeting layers to the bottom right side of your card over the one inch by four inch strip of cardstock or foil. Now, uh, somebody had embossed their foil or strip cardstock layer the wrong way. And I said that's okay because this may hide it or most of it. If your <laughs> Beth Bruner said that is the funniest lipstick I've ever seen. Of course, Brett, Br Beth, you knew I would come up with something like that. Let's talk about this for just a minute. We're going to pretend that this is our four inch strip. If you're, gr hold on. Okay, so we're going to do it this way. This is your four inch strip. If your greeting is this big, you might not be able to see this. You might want to, now this is your card. Remember, you can do whatever you want. You might want to put it up some, okay? <laughs> Robin Miller said, done eight. I almost typed done Matt. Whoops. <laughs> Virginia Batson, you never know what we're going to learn on Mystery Mondays. And what is the lesson tonight? You know what? We should have a pop quiz over on the Facebook group. What was the lesson we learned tonight on Mystery Monday stamping? What Sharon's lipstick looks like. <laughs> All right. I'm seeing some duns with nine. So I think you guys handled that one just fine. Matte means dull and flat without shine. Think about matte when doing colors. <laughs> oh, I know what that M-A-T-T -T means. Yes, ma'am. All right. Clue number 10. Time to get creative. Look at your card front. Does it need an image, a die cut, punched out leaves, die cut leaves, etc.? Add those now. Nancy said, if it's spelled it that way, you're telling Matt not to come. Oh, no, we want Matt to come. And how to spell Matt. Or Matt for your lipstick. M-A-T-T-E. Is that lipstick Matt? Is it a matte finish? Some of them are. <laughs> Do you want to know what this color was? This is the one that's in such a hot mess. This one's name is called Gentlemen Prefer Pink. <laughs> Matt should never match Sharon. Absolutely correct. Oh my goodness. When you guys are done with clue number 10, type done 10. I can't wait to show you my card. I can't wait to for y'all to solve the mystery and finish your card. And let me know in the chat if you're enjoying this type of card layout um renee paris has been in here she's the one that has the little wrench by her name uh, renee is one of my moderators and um she helps me prior to mystery stamping by reading these crazy clues and um making sure that the measurements are right. And, you know, there's two sets of eyeballs on these. And sometimes we still miss something, but we try very hard to um, give you guys, you know, the correct measurements, the right instructions and all of that to make your cart. Um, I sent Renee a picture of a card today and I go, whoops, should have picked different paper. <laughs> when that Mystery Monday comes up, I will remember to tell you the rest of the story. So don't forget, you want to come back in February for the other mystery stampings. Delina says, LOL, loving tonight and laughing so much. You're so welcome, Delina. I'm so happy that I made you laugh. Nancy Charney says, I put my four inch strip in the wrong place. Maybe not. Maybe it's fun. Look at your card front and you decide, are you okay with it? If so, it's your card. 
your card's not going to look like mine. I've used different pat, uh, different papers. I may have used foil. I may have used cardstock. I use different colors. Your card is probably just fine. Mary Yates says that I'm just too funny. <laughs> Thanks for the brand name, Sharon. Sorry, whoops. Sorry it started off a new train of discussion. I'm impressed you can read the name as the print is usually so small. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm like. Hmm. All right. I think, ooh, Jeannie says her card is pink. Uh-huh. Okay. Brenda Bennett says she loves her card. Um. Oh, Lavina, are you talking about me? Am I your ray of sunshine on this rainy day? Upset the dog when I saw that lipstick. <laughs> Beth Bruner says she is loving tonight. I think you guys, let me scroll back up. Are we done with 10? We're done with 10. All right, let's look at number 11. Last clue. Add the basic white layer that is four inches by five and a quarter to the inside of your card with adhesive. Now, that is if you use the colored cardstock as your base that I told you to. <clears throat> Ooh, Sally can't wait to see my card. It's so pretty. It's so fun. I, I love my card. <laughs> dee, dee, dee. Oh, that's teasing. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Rosemary says we have to see it first. Even when there is a glitch, we have fun. We laugh and my husband says he can hear me downstairs. He knows when it's Mystery Monday. You know what, y'all? We started this in March. It will be four years. So those of you who are new to Mystery Stamping, let me just tell you a little bit of history of Mystery Monday Stamping. We started it four years ago when the pandemic made us all stay home. And I just felt very strongly that we needed to keep on stamping, even if it was virtually. So <clears throat> we came up with Mystery Monday stamping. First, I started on Facebook. I had always, I've done it for years, but I did it with my team. So I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And when you sign up under me, you were on my team. So I did it years ago uh, with my team in different ways. Um, but then... We brought it to Facebook and then ultimately to YouTube because everybody can get on YouTube. Not everybody's on, on Facebook. So in March, we have our four-year birthday. And, you know, we've, we've changed it up throughout the time, throughout the years. Um, but no matter what, we come together from all over the world. I know that my friend is on here from Portugal. I haven't seen Inika from Netherlands, but I know people are here from all over the world. Those who watch the replay, I know I get you're from Australia and things like that. Let me know where you're from when you are watching uh, Mystery Stamping. And um, it's just, it's just a, a fun way to make a card. And it's not supposed to be stressful, remember? Uh, let's see. Michelle said, I went nuts with that triple diamond mystery card. I made quite a few. So that was our mystery card from January the 8th because that was my birthday. Um, Nancy says, I think I like my card. I hope you do. Oh, gosh. All right. Uh, thank you. Ren thank you, Renee. Thank you, uh, Mary Yates. Okay, I think we are all done. Now, you guys know that it is celebration. If you don't, celebration is happening uh, through the end of February. And I um, I was going to use some celebration products on my card tonight, but I didn't. But let me just briefly tell you that there are three ways that you can earn benefits. If you shop on my website, which you can find the link below the video in increments of $50, you can get things for free. I love the word free. You can pick out free things from this brochure. This brochure is on the Stampin' Up! website, or you will be prompted when you uh, either spend $50 or $100 that you can uh, pick out something for free. If you ever have any questions, please 
excuse me, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm more than happy to answer those questions. And um, when they run out of celebration items, is it gone and not coming back? Most likely, yes. Um, what, is something already gone? <clears throat> Diane says, we keep the mystery stamping clues in a notebook and refer to them often for ideas to make cards for all occasions. I'm so happy to hear that. <clears throat> okay. Hi, Judy from Michigan. Didn't stamp along, but love watching you live. Yay. And you learned about my lipstick. <laughs> All right. Are y'all ready to see my card? Ta-da. There's my banners. And I used fancy paper. I used the oxidized foils from Stampin' Up! And I used cardstock. You see what I said? Who did I tell earlier? You might want to mix it up. Wink, wink. Um, then I came in and I added some leaves. I tucked them behind my um, greeting layer. Okay. It is very hard to believe, Rosemary, that it has been four years. We've been doing mystery stamping for four years. And it is very hard to believe that it's been that long. Oh, hold on. I'm getting something. I'm getting something for you. Um, this, let me show you the supplies that I used. It is beautiful. I, Patty, I think it's beautiful. <gasps> Jean Gully says it's my first time to join live. I always miss them. I'm so glad you joined us live. I used the artistically inked stamp set and something in my gut is going to tell me <clears throat> or is telling me that this has been around for a couple of years and it's going to go away. I absolutely love that big, bold, scripty thanks okay so if you love this stamp set and you don't have it you might want to think about getting it because i think it's going to go away um i used the artistic dies these are not sold as a bundle anymore but i think <clears throat> excuse me that this is the most elegant die that we have it is so versatile i absolutely love it um, it comes with a flower leaf as well. And then these images cut out the uh, stamped images, okay? The embossing folder that I chose, let me put this over here, was the exposed brick, okay? Linda Phelps says, very pretty, mine is so different. As it should be, everybody's is different. Now, this embossing folder would have lent itself to go either way. I think, um, I didn't try it that way. I did it this way when I put my pieces in, but this one is kind of non-directional. Um, so see who said that, who said that, um, Maria says, I agree. Artistically inked is so versatile and beautiful. I totally agree with you. Um, so the oxidized papers is what I used and, you know, it's as close to copper as I can get. Stampin' Up! took away my copper foil, and I'm still sad about that. But they brought this back, or brought this in, and you can see the copper. So it's oxidized, how copper does. And then here is the pretty peacock versions of it. It's just really pretty paper. And so to use just bits of it, on your card is perfect, perfect. So I used a little piece right here. There's my one inch, here's my pieces. And then I also cut out the leaves with it too. Um, right now, there is another catalog going on. It is a mini catalog. If you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you live in the United States, <laughs> you can request a mini catalog or the annual catalog or anything like that. Uh, any of the current catalogs from my um, uh, link, just go to my blog below the video and you can um, see on my blog to request a catalog. So I'm so glad that you all love my card. Mickey says, I'm shocked that that stamp set is still around. Yeah, me too. And it's probably going to be gone, especially now that I've jinxed it. Hmm. So what was, what did we learn tonight in mystery stamping? what Sharon's lipstick looks like. <laughs> I'll be back on Thursday night right here on YouTube at 7 p.m. Central. We will have some more fun. 
Um, I don't think I can show y'all any different lipstick, but maybe we can come up with something else fun here in the studio. So I'm so glad you joined me tonight. Happy stamping, y'all. Don't forget, go over to the Mystery Stampers Facebook group, post your card, take a picture, post your card, and then put that picture in the mail. Okay? Mail it to somebody. If you want my address, you can mail it to me. I'm just kidding. Mail it to a friend. Love you guys. Bye, y'all.